Let's add a custom recipe to Minecraft 1.16.5. Adding custom recipes is actually a really easy thing. We just need another JSON file, which would be located under data, your mod ID, recipes, which is a folder we've already created. We're going to make our amethyst ore craftable. So let's create a new file, right click new file, amethyst underscore ore dot JSON. Now what's interesting about the recipes is that the name does not have to match the name given inside of the mod blocks class right here, or the mod items class if we want to craft an item. It does not have to match in this case. A great tip, we're not going to type out the recipe, we're actually going to take a look at the vanilla recipe JSONs. And we can do that by navigating to external libraries down here, and then going down to net minecraft client extra and then whatever version you're on. Opening that up, data, Minecraft, recipes. And then we have every recipe that is inside of Minecraft vanilla right here for the JSON files. So for example, we could take the diamond block one and just copy it. So select everything, control C, go into our amethyst or JSON, control V, and then we've pasted it in. Now, of course, we wanna change a few of these values. And the thing that we wanna change is maybe something like this. So we're gonna do a different pattern right here. So it's gonna be hashtag S hashtag S hashtag S and then hashtag S hashtag. Now this pattern, maybe you've realized it already or maybe you haven't. This basically represents the crafting grid. There are three strings of length three. So this is the first row in the crafting grid, the second row and the third row. And yes, you can actually leave those empty as well and then it would count as an empty slot. The characters we are using in here basically relate in these keys. So we have one key right now, which is set to diamond. We actually wanna change this to our tutorial mod colon amethyst. And then of course, now we have an S in here. So we need to add another key. So we can simply take this, copy it. So control C, control V again, and then change this to an S. And then for example, take Minecraft stone. And then at the end here, we have a result. Now this, we want it to be tutorial mod colon amethyst underscore or. So we basically make an X with our amethyst and then surround it with stones. Looking at the vanilla recipes really is the easiest way to do this. That is actually everything we need to do. So let's see if it worked. Right, we find ourselves back in Minecraft and let's see if the custom recipe has been added and it has been added indeed. So we can now craft an amethyst ore block and there we go. You might've seen that this was of type crafting shaped. So this would be a shaped recipe. There are of course also shapeless recipes. So for example, if we take a look at the diamond, we can see that this would be crafting shapeless. And instead of taking a pattern, this would then take ingredients. And another thing in the result, you can also specify a count. So how many items of that result you're going to get. Blasting and smelting is actually as easy as that as well. So you can simply take a look at the, for example, diamond from blasting and diamond from smelting JSON files and simply copy those over if you need that. The convention is to name the file after the result. And if you have multiple ways to craft something, then you can, for example, put a underscore one to it or an underscore two or, and so on or you can also put an underscore from something else into it. If your recipes don't work, make sure that the folder structure is correct so that it's under data, your mod ID, recipes. And then also make sure that inside of the JSON file, there is no typo in there. One of the most common errors I've seen is when you copy from a vanilla JSON file that you change the item name, but not the mod ID. That's very important. You have to specify the correct mod ID, otherwise it won't work. So definitely check that as well. And now I have a challenge for you. Yes, you. I've added an amethyst block texture for you to download. And the challenge is, well, making a new recipe for it. First, of course, you'll need to add the block itself. If you need a refresher, then the video for that is now linked at the top right corner. And links to the code is, of course, also linked in the description below. If you want to add a lot of recipes, there might be a lot of copy and pasting involved, but it's still really cool to finally see some custom recipes in Minecraft. I hope you found this useful. If you learned something new, don't forget to smash the like button. And I'll see you in the next video. So yeah.